Ha. Hey everyone, Hassan here, and I got a special review for you today. This is my first ever Super Sentai review! Yay! We're starting off with Tokyujur, the current Super Sentai series, and I've seen the first six episodes so far that have aired, and it's pretty sweet. I'm really liking it. I love the whole train thing that they have going on. Power Rangers and Thomas the Tank Engine were my two loves when I was a little kid, so the fact that we now have trains and Power Rangers together is just amazing. So here it is. I'm going to kick off my reviews of Tokyujur with the Tokyo Chain. This is the Henshin device, the morpher basically for the Tokyujers. And uh, it's pretty sweet. I really do like it. I, I have fun messing around with this thing all the time. It's really cool. So first of all, let's move these aside. Just take a quick look at the packaging because the, the packaging that they have for the Super Sentai products is pretty sweet. Uh, so as you can see, Tokyo Changer, it comes with the red Resha, and Resha being a train, for those that don't know. Uh, so we have the red train right there. I almost said the red rangers train, but the rangers this time are actually numbered. So there's not really a red ranger or blue ranger, etc. It's ranger number one, ranger number two, etc. So you see all the names right there? Uh, it says Tokyo 1 go, Tokyo 2 go, 3 go. Basically what it's supposed to be, uh, 1 in Japanese is Ichi, so it's Tokyo Ichigo. Uh, 2 is Ni, Tokyo Nigo. Um, I think 3 is Zan, or something like that, San. Some, I, I have to remember, I have to hear the sound. So San go, and then Yon go, so Yon is 4, and Go is 5, so it's Tokyo Go go. So they actually are numbered, so that kind of plays a huge part in the actual morpher, so that's why I'm really pointing that out for those that don't know. Uh, there is Tokyo Ichigo right there, number one, as you can see, because they all change colors and stuff, so that's kind of one of the big things there. So here you go. There's the back, and it shows you all the different things you can do. You can actually use the different, uh, there's other Resha that you can get as well. Uh, and so I actually do have Tokyo O, so I will show you at least the main five Resha in this review. Uh, and so again, you can see them right there. So yeah, great packaging. I love the uh, what they've done, and I love the kind of the logo they have there. It's sort of like a little train background and all that, so pretty sweet. But anyways, on to the actual uh, main event here. So this is it. This is the Tokyo Changer, and it's pretty huge. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, pretty big. If you want a kind of a size comparison, this is the Legendary Morpher from Power Rangers Super Mega Force. So this is the, not the Mobirates, but the actual USA version. Um, and so if I kind of fold it out, you'll sort of see, if you can kind of tell the size comparison. So it's it's pretty big. It really is, especially because this is actually a wrist morpher, which uh, we haven't seen in quite a while, so I'm very happy about that. I kind of miss the, the wrist morphers. So, you know, it goes on there, and you can put all the trains and all that. So I, I will put it on later and show you that. So it does come with the two straps that you do have to slide in. Uh, one is smaller than the other, but both do fit pretty nicely. So it can definitely easily fit in my adult uh, hands right there, rather my arm. So I will put that on later, but uh, this is it. And there's uh, some lights that shine right there as well. There's three main buttons, so I'll go over those three buttons. And then you have this little thing here that can open and close. So this actually has a couple positions. It has this close position, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Um, so there's all those different positions. It doesn't really do anything except as long as you open it, somehow you can move it however much you want and then you close it again and, and that's kind of what it takes. Um, so usually in the show I think they open it up to that that height I guess and they put it in the train and they close it so that's what we'll do. Uh, the other side is kind of similar except these are they're not actually lights here it's just uh, solid red right there and uh, yeah so What's cool about this is this is kind of how it, it reads the different trains. So um, on the bottom of the Red Russia, and I'll show you this in a bit more detail later, you'll see there's kind of um, this thing here, this one, and that long line. So it's like a little pattern. And so what happens is as you slide it across, it reads the pattern, and that's how it identifies what it is. So it's not really as easy to fake and, and come up with different sounds. Uh, like, 
you know, for example, with a Ghost A Morpher, you could print out barcodes and swipe it and, and hear different sounds. This one, because you kind of have to hold down stuff and it has to click into place, it, it's it's harder to do unless you really mess with the tabs down here, which I'm not going to do. But uh, so there it is. The speaker is right there. It is quite loud, actually. So it is pretty loud. So that is kind of nice. Um, maybe a bit too loud, actually. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And the way that this works is you can take the, the Resha, and I'll, actually let me show you this the, the Resha up close now. Um, so this is the one that it comes with. It comes with the, the red Resha. Now if you do buy the set with the Tokyo Changer and Tokyo O, then you don't get this red Resha with it. You just get the, the one from Tokyo O that actually combines. So this one doesn't transform or do anything. It's just a plain um, red Resha. But it does look pretty cool. You know, I do like it. And it does roll. It has wheels on the bottom, so it can, you know, roll around pretty easily. So that's pretty cool. So the way that this works is you can just slide this in. It just slides in, and then it, just, it will click into place like that. And then when it clicks into place, it's not going to come out at all. You can close it and etc. you know, do all that fun stuff. To take out the train, there's this tab right here, so you just push this, and that loosens the train, and now it can slide out. So I'll turn it on in a second and you hear all the fun sound effects, but that's how it works. So you just slide in the train, bam, and then that's it. Um, all right, so let's turn this thing on. So that's the sound that it makes. Um, it makes that sound when you close it or open. So it does make sounds there. Uh, so, the first thing that you can do is you can actually take the Resha and just put it right in and it will say the name of the Resha. And it doesn't do anything until you close it. So it says, Redo Resha, which is basically Red Resha. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. Uh, then you can basically, so the other, uh, this first button, the gold button right there, is how they basically transform into the Tokyujers. Uh, and you're supposed to have the train out and then you push the button. It actually doesn't make much of a difference, but I'm going to do it anyways, just so you can hear this sound when you take out the train. Ready? So that's pretty cool. I like, uh, I like that sound effect. Um, so anyways, so let's uh, close this up. So here's how they morph, right? They push this gold button. And it just, the sound will keep on going and going and going until you put in the train. So. So it makes that sound when you open it up. Now notice the sound is going to change when the rush is inserted. You have that added little sound effect on there as well. And then you close it. So again, it said Tokyo Ichigo because that is the number, I guess, Ranger number one, I guess. Um, so this is his main Resha, the red Resha right there. So that's what that one does. Um, then this, I'll, I'll skip the middle button for now. The silver button here is how they actually summon the Resha. You know, they actually summon their, their Zord to, to combine, I guess, and, and kind of, you know, uh, form whatever Megazords and all that fun stuff. But this is basically how they summon it. So... Uh, this is already in there, they're already morphed, so then you can do this. And then you just... So it says Red Resha twice, and that, that sound that I made is unique to this Red Resha. So every Resha makes its own sound, which is pretty cool. Adds a lot more playability, um, but as you can see, here is here is what it looks like with the um, with the Resha in there, and it's it's pretty cool. You know, it looks uh, looks pretty nice. It's definitely fun to take the, the Resha in and out. I'll show you the transfer thing at the very end. Uh, that's kind of the the other little gimmick of it, but. So there's that. Now I did want to show you because uh, I will be doing a review of Tokyo. O. But because the, the main thing about this morpher, you know, it kind of involves transferring all the trains and stuff, I did want to show you at least the sounds that the main five Resha make. So these do not come with the morpher. These come with Tokyo O. 
but I want to show you their sounds at least right now. So, uh, you'll notice the one that comes with Tokyo, o, there is a Red Resha, and this one does, you know, um, kind of transform and stuff, so. But here's the comparison. So this is the one that comes with Tokyo o, and this is the one that comes with the Tokyo Changer. Uh, they're very similar, except obviously this part's broken up because it has to move. This one's kind of a darker red right there. Um, you have the clip there, you know, for combination purposes. Um, the back is open on the, the one that comes with Tokyo o. The bottom uh, is all red versus this one being half black. And the front, the one that comes with Tokyo o has a teeny bit more paint. It's got the red dots there and then the, that, uh, I guess that's a gold color right up front. Um, but other than that, they're basically the same thing. They, they do the same exact thing in the Tokyo Changer. As you'll notice, the tabs that they have there are the exact same, so no difference there. Um, so I'm just gonna use the ones that come with Tokyo o now, these five, so let's focus on these. Uh, so I already showed you red, so let's take a look at uh, blue right now. So I'm gonna move these to the side, and we'll bring over blue. So it says Blue Resha. I guess technically you don't have to take it out to do the morphing part, so. But uh, so here he is, let's, let's become Tokyo Nigo. So his knee is number two. So it says Tokyo Nigo. That sound effect that it makes at the end is actually the same sound effect it makes for all of them, so that part is not unique. It's the sound effect that comes with actually summoning the Resha that is unique. So let's do that. That's the silver button. So that's pretty cool. So that is kind of the, the sound that it makes there. All right, number three is yellow. So let's do that. Okay, so I will show you all the Resha up close in detail in the actual Tokyo O review. I just want to do the sounds in this review. So let's morph. And you can skip this too, you can just do this. San, that's, that's number three, so it's Tokyo Sango, okay. And then we can summon the Resha. Okay, so pretty cool. All right, time for green. All right, so green Resha. Uh, so let's do the morphing part. Skip this. So ranger number four is Tokyo Yongo. Let's summon the green Resha. Let's skip this. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's take this out. And last but not least, we have pink. All right, let's morph. And summon the Russia. All right, there we go. So those are the, the these two buttons right here. So you have the, the Henshin button, so they can transform. You have the Summon Resha button. And then the middle button there is for transferring. So this is where their little gimmick comes into play, where Tokyo Ichigo, who's, who's the number, you know, ranger number one, 
can not necessarily always be red. He can switch and become blue or green or yellow or pink or whatever. So uh, they can also transfer trains. So I'm going to start off with uh, Tokyo Ichigo, right? So I'm going to have the red in there. And this button only works properly if you first morph. So if you just put in the Resha and then I try and do a transfer, it's not going to work. So I have to first morph. Oops, I forgot to morph. I should hit the button. Let me push it. Alright, so note that I have now morphed into Tokyo Ichigo, right? So I'm now Ranger number one, Tokyo Ichigo. So now I can transfer trains from red to, let's say, blue. So I'm going to push the button, the little middle white button here. And now, open it, eject it, and the sound keeps going because then you switch. Let's do blue. So it said Tokyo Ichigo Red Dorikai De or something like that, uh, blue, which basically means Tokyo Ichigo, which is number one, uh, red, so he's using red, and then Dorikai De or whatever they said is, it, I think it means like transfer, so it's like you're transferring trains to blue. So now you're Tokyo Ichigo, ranger number one, but you're blue. And now if I want to be pink, let's do that. And at any point in time you can move this, it's not going to do anything. And now... So that's pretty cool. So now I'm still number one, but I went from blue to pink. So you can do whatever combination of stuff that you want to do. Uh, that Just like in the show, you can switch colors. Now, actually, uh, I also want to show... You don't always just have to be Tokyo Ichigo. If I wanted to start off as, let's say, um, uh, what is the blue, right? Tokyo Nigo, Ranger number two. So let's morph into Tokyo Nigo, Ranger number two. Now I want to transfer as number two from blue to yellow. So let's do that. Hit the transfer button, let's take out blue, and let's go to yellow. So I should be Tokyo Nigo Ranger number two, switching from blue to yellow. So this gives you so many different possibilities of sounds, which is awesome. And it basically lets anybody pretend to be whichever ranger they want. Uh, a lot of times in Morphers, they are, at least with Power Rangers, it's you have to be the Red Ranger, you know, for certain sounds or whatever. But now you can be whichever ranger. So you just start off, you morph into whichever ranger you want, and then you can transfer colors and, and switch around. So I think that's really cool. That actually offers um, a lot of playability there. So... Um, I'm going to turn this thing off. There's that. So yeah, definitely um, I really like the different buttons. You get a lot of fun, you know, pretty easy to morph with this button. This one, I like all the unique sounds that the Resha makes with the, the little silver button for summoning the Resha. You get a lot of great unique sounds. And the transferring is so much fun as well. I just love opening and switching other trains constantly, constantly switching. It's it's a lot of fun to do that. So uh, overall, this thing is, is pretty great. I, I really do like this. Um, it, it's, I can't really give you a price point for it because it kind of depends where you buy it, shipping costs, all of that, but it's obviously going to be pretty pricey, uh, just considering you're going to be importing, um, much more than, than your typical Power Rangers Morpher, and, uh, you know, but I think it's pretty, uh, good quality stuff, uh, as you can see, I mean, it, it looks pretty solid, uh, it feels pretty solid, and it's a lot of fun, so it definitely is pretty great. By the way, this piece comes detached originally so this thing kind of comes out so it comes attached like this and you just have to attach this piece on when you buy it so in case anybody's just curious so that part um does kind of come off a little bit but yeah anyways i really do like this so i do want to kind of uh try and put this on and show you what it looks like let me at least try and do this uh right here while i can i'm gonna try and extend my arm and so you'll see this little strap i'll just kind of give you an idea 
the smaller strap does still fit pretty nicely. Um, I'm not actually going to tighten it yet because it's kind of hard to tighten, uh, at least for me. Um, but as you'll see, I can fit that on and maybe even fit one more, but then I'll still have two more holes to go. So I still have plenty of, of space there. And, and in terms of this one here, um, I can fit this pretty easily, like I'd say right there. So I'm like just about in the middle. So there's still a lot more space to go. So you really do have a lot of uh, wiggle room there for uh, wearing this thing. Um, and it looks great. I mean, I didn't tighten it or anything yet, but it, uh, it looks great on the arm. It feels great. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So let me actually show you this kind of, you'll, you'll see me in person and kind of get an idea of how big this thing is. All right, here I am in front of the camera and this is it. This is the Tokyo Changer. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty big. As you can see, I didn't, I didn't completely tighten it and stuff. So it is kind of sliding a little, but, um, even though I didn't completely tighten it, you'll still see there's plenty of room on the straps there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, all the sounds and everything are on this side actually. Uh, so, um, you can't actually show the, the lights or anything right here, but the, the lights and stuff, the buttons are all on this side. Uh, and so here it is. And real quick, I do have, so here's the Resha, right, that it comes with, uh, the red Resha. Little size comparison. Here is, uh, one of the, the, um, Jujenchi, the Gabutira one from, uh, Kyuryuger. So another Super Sentai item. So if you have any stuff from Kyuryuger, you can kind of get an idea of the little size comparison there of the, the Resha. So there's that. And with the actual um, changer right there, you kind of have an idea. Um, here is one of the actual Super Mega Force Ranger keys. So Super Mega Force Ranger key. Just picked a random one. So there's that. Here's one of the Gokaiger ran uh, Ranger keys. So it's bigger, not quite as big as the Resha. The Resha is still um, uh, bigger there. Here's one of the five inch uh, Super Mega Force figures. So it is bigger. Basically, if you were to cut off his head, it would basically be the, the same height there. So there's that. Uh, and just for fun, here's Thomas the Tank Engine. So <laughs> there's a little comparison with the Thomas the Tank Engine. This is, oops, my Thomas from when I was a little kid. <laughs> so there you go. So uh, in case you, you know, you wanted to see, you know, the Thomas Resha, there you go. So I'm now transforming into uh, Tokyo Ichigo, right? Because number one, uh, Thomas Resha, or what? I don't even know what I'm saying. But uh, it doesn't actually fit. It kind of just rolls around and falls out. But it, it's kind of fun to just sit him in there and pretend like you can do that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this is it. This is kind of how big it is. Um, and it's, it's pretty cool. It feels pretty satisfying just because um, it's like a nice size. It feels like it's, you know, a nice weight to it and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's turn this thing on. And I'll just kind of show you. Um, I'll do a pretend henshin from the show. So what they usually do is uh, they'll have, you know, they'll hold it up or something like this. They'll have the Resha. They push the little henshin button. Or actually, yeah, the white lines appear, right, around them to morph. And then... Oh, actually, I did that wrong. Let me take it out. So they stick it in just like this. And then they usually go back like this and then they slide their hand forward and go something like that. But yeah, as you can see, it definitely is, is very fun to do. And especially just doing this and then you're just like, yeah, transfer trains. Uh, when I slid it or something, it must have the pattern must have been slightly off because it just used said Time Ranger. So they, what they're actually doing is they're going to release a Resha of a lot of the old Sentai. I don't know if they're going to do all the Sentai, but they're actually doing trains like like there's one there's a a Kyuryuger one that's designed that looks like uh, kind of like Gabutira from Kyuryuger. So apparently they're doing a Time Ranger one. I don't know if people knew that or not. But uh, there's the sound right there, so that's pretty funny. I always stumble, stumble upon random sounds. I did with my Legendary Morpher review, kind of funny. Um, but yeah, as you can see, a lot of playability, and it's just fun to take these things out and mess around with it. So 
I highly recommend the Tokyo Changer. Um, if you at all like trains, you will love this uh, Sentai series. Just all the items, everything is designed around the whole train motif, and I just love it. It's so much fun. I love the wrist changers. I've, I've really uh, enjoyed these when I was a kid. And then for the longest time, they switched to the, the phone morphers or whatever else. And it, it's long overdue. I'm glad they're bringing it back. And uh, these things are just so much fun. Like, just, you know, imagine collecting all the different Resha and, and using them in your in your morpher and everything. It's just, it's a blast. So, I highly recommend the Tokyo Changer. Um, I know it's going to be kind of, you know, pricey to import from Japan. So, that is kind of, you know, one of the main things to, to sort of maybe hold you back from doing that. But... If you are thinking about it and you happen to like trains or something, I think this is something to definitely look out for because it is it is a lot of fun. I love it. I love all the Tokyo stuff that I've been getting. It's been great. So that is that. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and let me know what you guys thought. This is my first ever review of a Super Sentai product. I do have a couple of other Sentai things from Gokaiger, Kyuuji, little bits, but I didn't really want to do reviews of those, but I, I feel like Tokyo Jir has been so much fun. I really want to review the stuff. So let me know what you guys thought. And if you want to see more Tokyo Jir reviews, please, please, please watch this video and share it with others. Uh, share this video because the more people that watch, uh, the more support that I get, the more that I'll know that you want to watch. Because, like I said, to import all these things from Japan, it's expensive. And the only way that I can continue to do these reviews is with your support. So I have, right now I have the Tokyo Changer, I have Tokyo O, I have the Buckle, the Blaster, um, I have a, a couple different things. And, and uh, if you want me to see more, uh, there's more Russia that are being released, let me know. And I will try and do my best. So that's that. And uh, thank you for watching, and see you guys later.